Grace, first and foremost, thank you for giving me the pleasure of calling you my better half. You've single-handedly made all of my dreams come true. I'm so grateful to call you my wife for the rest of eternity. You saved me from my own demons without even trying when nobody else could break through the shield that I put up. Not only have you made me a better person, you've changed me into a man who isn't afraid to look in the mirror anymore and I'll forever be indebted to you for that. I promise you that I'll do everything in my power to give you the best life imaginable. A princess deserves a comforting shoulder, prosperity, security, and much, much more. I intend to give my princess all of those things and much, much more. I love you more than anything in this entire universe. I know loving me is hard sometimes, yet you do it with a smile even when I'm at my worst. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for not giving up on me even when I've given up on myself. When I say I love you more, it's not a competition. It means I love you more than the fights, the stresses of life, or any other extrinsic factors that will tantalize us. On our illustrious journey, we're fixing to go on together. I could honestly write a book about how much you truly mean to me, but we have a wedding to get to, so I'll end with this. Thank you for being my light in the dark and loving me no matter what. Here's to find out just how long forever really is. Mrs. Grace Janae Naylor Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate one of the happiest moments in the lives of Destry and Grace. For on this day, Destry and Grace stand before you to affirm that they believe God has proposed that they should share life together in the holy bonds of marriage. Do you commit to receive Grace to your side, to love her, care for her, open your heart and life to her? Do you promise to honor, keep, and comfort her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and love her exclusively as long as you both shall live. I do. Grace, because you are to be the heart of this new home, do you commit to receive Destry to your side, to love him and care for him, to open your heart and life to him? Do you promise to honor, keep, and comfort him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and love him exclusively as long as you both shall live? I do. Destry, please repeat these vows Please repeat after me these vows to Grace. I love you, Grace, as I love no other. I love you, Grace, as I love no other. All that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Grace, please repeat after me these vows to Destry. I love you, Destry, as I love no other. I love you, Destry, as I love no other. All that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Marriage is not a contract we enter into, but rather a covenant relationship between a man and a woman entered into before a holy God. The Bible teaches in Ephesians 5 that marriage relationship between a husband and man is a picture of the relationship of Christ and his church. We believe the Bible clearly teaches that once you are saved, you are always saved. We believe in the eternal security of the believer. If marriage then pictures this gospel of Christ, then to ever separate or divorce would be to virtually say to non-believers that you can lose your salvation. The Bible teaches that once saved, always saved. The same Bible teaches once you get married, you stay married. You may now kiss your beautiful bride. Woo!